Death confident enough that that champion can get the push and keep the push in the mid game. When you're thinking of push, when you're thinking of AD carries, Sivir's always the one that first comes to mind for me, especially when you have these solo laners that have the here on Zekka with the Silas. He's playing nice and safe. We'll see if Piosha can find an angle here. Baker still pretty far. Oh, flash! Spectral Maw! And first blood over to Zekka! Zekka! Here in summer, and now they're in a world's finals, and they're already off to a great stop. And I love their story with Kingen and Zekka as we have a trade on bottom side. Boys, we might not have the time for any story because Dev is about to drop in bottom lane, but he heals through it. Here he Owner. Still chasing after. Owner wants to land this. There's a little bit more damage coming out from Kyria. Flash into the Tempest to make it happen. Second, as Zekka goes in with a stolen ulti. He'll shuffle Faker right on back. But Owner's on the way, so Zekka can't do any more. Beautiful play there but from now it's Dragon started up for Pioshik and DRX, and they should be able to finish it. Yep. No Leeson around means no attempt at a smite steal. Oh! Who needs smite when you come? To the top side, River. How does T1 dissect this fight? They're looking for Kingen. Owner throws out the Q, but he's not going to find it. Zekka jumps in. Owner's ready to retreat back to his own teammate. Zeus contesting 1v2. Owner and Faker ready to join in, but Barrel's made his way into the fight. Owner jumps in. It's secured by DRX. Now the fight breaks out. Pioshik coming right back in. T1 with a lot of moves. Zekka tries to get the kill, but he won't be able to secure it. Zeus charges to him. Let's see about it, though. DRX, they bully them off. Wow. DRX showing up, forcing T1 back a little bit. Zach is here on the flank. The second trade stolen. Owner gets it and he gets away. The right choice goes a long way. First Herald of the game summoned up here in mid lane. This will be the first turret killed by either side. And it's mid lane tier one dropping. T1. Owner's going towards mid wave. King it will find the bot lane of T1. Oh, that's not where they want to be going. DRX. They're ready to go. Can they survive? No. Karia will fall. But he's traded back for Zekka. A one for one that should favor T1. That was a fantastic setup for DRX. So a little bit of a backfire to go one for one. A couple ultimates used. From T1, DRX the same. Dragon is still up, but DRX still looking for a pick. They're hoping that Gumayushi walks back through this tribe, which I think T1 thought they had to go through bot lane there. And look at this. Faker goes mid to put up the Azir turret, try and get his mid priority that way, and then he can come right over. Remember, Gumayushi as well stole the other dragon. Can yes. he fish around here? Uh, they've got vision inside the dragon pit and teleport coming right out. All right, teleport from Zeus. Bottom lane, Kingen and Barrel gonna keep him back. Zeus ready to try to outplay here with a soul unbound. Immediately resets his position. It. His job was to distract, and distract he did. Drake secured oh as Faker goes in. Depth is on the run. 40% AP. Zeus ready for the re-engage. Fate sealed, and Death is down. Faker gets the kill, and T1 are ready to go. T1 so precise, just dominating this game. Zeus, magnificent sleight of hand on the bottom side, but they're not done yet. King and looking for the snipe onto Faker. He just walks out of the Inferno chains and goes for it. Oh, but Faker goes back in. Faker gets Barrel, and T1's ready for more. Pioshik's on the run, but the ruined King will barely survive. Owner walks away, and now T1 might just pay for it. Kingen's ready to chase down Guma even further. Zeus coming around from the side. Kingen backing away. T1 getting another. Faker getting another. Just damaging your health bar. Death falls, and then T1 looks for another players. We've got a fight on live. We've already got that play right now. Pioshik on the run, but he'll run nowhere. Faker goes on a rampage, and Barrel goes down with him. T1 find two, they find the jungler, and they find their way to the bear. There is a reason why T1 is undefeated versus DRX. They are outclassing them in every single role right now, and T1 will pick up that Baron just shy of 21 minutes in the game. Absolute dominant objectives at every turn. Mayus and Kingen getting into a bit of a 1v1 here, but Zek is also nearby. Baker ready to respond too. Kingen is low, and Zeus takes the kill. Now with the full retreat coming out, Zek is gonna whip the shuffle, and T1 just has to wait it out. They'll take out these minions. Zekka trying to find any sort of a way to get out of this one, but it ain't gonna happen. No, sir, Baker on. I especially love the story. Well, never mind. Owner's on Pioshik. We don't have time for stories. Owner looking for another. Finds the R, finds the Q, finds two. There it is. Owner.
Walker picks up the kill. The only story here is that DRX's history after game one. T1 are just dominating them. And you can't fault DRX because they have to find picks. T1 have a Baron buff. They're going to start the siege with Azir and Varus. They can go for 1 4 with Zeus on the Yone. They tried to make the picks happen, but T1 are very aware of their plans. T1 ready to break the base in half. The first inhibitor turret is gone. Inhibitor. A little bit more. There we go. That'll get him across the line. But DRX comes in with a TP. T1 and T1 story with them having confidence in their own. Never mind. Carrier. That's not where you want to be, buddy. Death goes on a killing spree. Okay. There's a second. Okay, a shutdown. DRX get two for nothing. 20 seconds on the dragon spawn as well. That will be the soul of T1. But look at Faker. He's just barreling down mid lane looking for another inhibitor. Looks like two will fall because all of DRX are staying. Bases are coming in, but Zeka doesn't have the TP. It's Oder and Gumayushi who will play patiently. And Faker with the TP coming back up soon means that T1 might be able to match the numbers around this dragon fight. Faker in mid lane, taking out the inhib. DRX immediately jumping onto the Drake. They want to stop this soul by any means possible. Owner's Owner. coming in. Sonic wave over the wall. Owner's still waiting for it. Not going to happen. Objective bounty. Group up on bottom side. Pressure it in. Continue to take objectives. Don't let DRX farm comfortably. DRX going to hold this, but Owner actually fails to kick flash there. Zeka just dashes backwards the second the jungler of T1 hops over the wall. And that's very important. DRX cannot afford to just lose a man for nothing here. Sorry, quickly, where's the floor from Death? He still has it, I think, up. He is going to pop it over the wall. They There's see no time. Game. There's no time. T1 already other lane. Zayu is leading the charge towards that exposed inhibitor in top. Faker maintaining pressure in mid. Kuma's got all the push power in the world here in bottom. Last standing inhibitor turret. That one's going to fall. Kuma can just go ahead, clear that out. No problem. Zeus taking out the other inhibitor there in top lane. Two more autos will do it. He'll just let the minions take it out. Triple in hit wow. game for T1. That's got to be the nail in the coffin. T1 will finish up their soul, and then they will march down mid lane to finish this game. The position. And the Emperor yeah. TP's back with a rabbit on death cap. This is here. It's going to do so much damage. Zeus might even find an engage already. Zeus looking for it. Fate sealed. Only going to find one. Kingen getting away for now. Owner still looking for the angle. Flash kick is available. DRX fully in defensive position now. As Barrel's only got 40% HP. T1 looking for any angle. All they got to do is find one. An 8,000 gold lead is definitely enough to end this game. Minion Wave making its way up. Owner threatens the engage. Chains of Corruption going out. Zeka looking for the play, but Owner goes golden. He's going to stay alive for now, backing up yet again. Next is Turret. First one's about to die. A little bit of HP, still keeping it around. Zeka's only a one-quarter health. He has to heal. Pioshik eats the Sonic Wave. No resonating strike just yet. DRX are out of turret and out of time. T1 still looking for the end, still looking to keep going. The Nexus is all that remains. I love how Owner keeps checking them, seeing if they will flinch, jumping in on the Lee Sin, but not going for the flash play. And here comes the end. Zeus looks for Q3. Zeka goes in with a stolen Azir ulti, but it ain't gonna do a whole lot. They still got a little bit of damage, but it is not enough. Barrel's gonna die, Death is gonna die. T1 will find the fight and find the win in game one. Clean, calm, and collected. The well-oiled machine of T1. It's Victor, or Faker. Control Mage makes a lot of sense. You've got four range champions on your team here, T1. So much poke, so much lockdown, so much damage. DRX have a, have a constant Faker. Q2's not gonna get the damage, but he's doing just fine. Meanwhile, Barrel up here in the top lane. Grenades and rockets, not gonna get a whole lot done just yet. Barrel still not level six. Kingen goes in, owner's the target, but now Zeus is locked down. Carry is here over the wall. It's first blood over to owner, oh, and he won. Are absolutely outplaying. Pioshik will not find the damage yet. He won't find the damage at all. Carry against it. And These even number scenarios and getting the huge advantage out of it. Another arrow lands into a full combo. It's just a big chunk, but yeah. it's while they're also getting the objective. And they have the Herald as well, so they can push in these bot waves, force DRX. To oh push. my god! Carry, are you kidding me? He just sets it up like it's point and quick. Carrier says hello to his old lane partner. I'm sorry, Deft. I'm not going to be able to give you the Summoner's Cup. I want to win.
All righty, let's see if Faker can get away from P.O. Shikinseka. Faker doesn't make it over the wall. He's in trouble, but he gets to safety. He flashes forward. It'll be a one for one, but P.O. Shik's in trouble. He uses the heartbreaker to get away. Seka getting back now as well. They'll trade Barrel for Faker. DRX will take that. To make it a one for one, they don't get the Herald down, but it's both sides in their favor. Kingen fighting against Zeus. Zeus with the World Ender active, trying to chase Kingen back. However, the ulti is about to expire, so Zeus is going to back off there. If we can refocus on some hope for DRX, it comes back to one player. Never mind this one-on-one. -on -one. It's so close. It's going all oh, the way. Kingen with the flash to get out of the way of the Q3. Barrel shows up, but he doesn't land it until the very end. Barrel, the rocket sniper, gets the kill. But now owner's ready to go. Buckshot in his back. There's no way home for the donger. Say good night. Owner picks up another. Time and time. that so well. So bot lanes towards mid here. Harold spawning in 30 seconds. Pick onto Faker. Yoshik gets Spectral Maw. Kingen's ready to follow. Hextech ultimatum to stay out of the gravity well. Faker will buy a moment here with the Zonias. He dies. Kingen grabs the kill, but now he's got to get away. Seus lands Q3 on two, but the damage ain't there. Seus tries to get out, but Death is ready to go. And shoot their moment, and they'll have to find a pick. Yoshik already going to start up the Drake down here. Nice CC on the barrel, but not enough follow-up to take him down. First turret's going to die up there in the top lane. It's Faker getting credit for that one. T1's not going to contest the Drake, so DRX will trade it for the first turret. Yeah, smartly cross-mapping there for T1. Faker saying he wants the, dra the, the top tier one, but I think DRX are going to herald here. Yes, they are, so Faker will move down. Zeus will move up. They're going to get a bit sandwiched here, DRX. Barrel's very low. The Herald won't kill the tower, so they need to get the next wave in. Kumayushi has to use the cleanse. Nicely done. Kumayushi getting himself back, but the shutdown on owner means that DRX now have a man advantage. The tier one turret still standing for now, but DRX wants to take it out. Minion wave's gonna collide. They're playing it safe. A little bit more damage into the turret is all they need, but they won't be able to find it. Barrel with a flash away. Zeus can't get the kill to follow. Lux Laser's gonna be sidestep. Another kill. Go defend that tower, and look at the work Kingen is putting in. Great shift here from DRX. What you innately do is you push T1 back from mid lane to make them take a longer path to top. You take a shorter one so you can respond if they want to defend. Kingen doesn't have Recently had a lot of men up here. TP coming in from Faker. He just picked up Sonya as he has it for the dive. Can they pull it off? They're going to miss the stun, but they find the second. There comes yeah. the Stasis. Cross map arrow. Faker has no ulti. Remember it. Faker's got no way out. And Sekka gets the kill. Welcome to the bottom lane. Teleport complete. And DRX welcome Faker with open arms. That means the other side of the map. T1 know they've got the numbers advantage. They take away the jungle. They try and push in, but no kill. Yeah, they can't pressure this tier two either. Kingen can just kind of sit in their face and clear out, away the wave. A lot of pressure in mid here from DRX means that they can collapse quite quickly. The bases are coming through to run to towards top. There's barrel on your screen. ...that they make to try and help out the macro when they're pushing top lane for Pioshik to go into the jungle and cut off uh, T1 as they're trying to rotate and answer Locked the... Downs. The T1 can't afford to step up. They're going to face a DRX on soul point now. It's only going to get worse. They're going to be forced to face check in once again in five minutes time. He really wants to fight. Here we go, DRX in the enemy jungle. Barrel's gonna be found by Karia, but he does not step into the CC. Zekka now being chased, has to flash out. Faker flashes in. Zekka goes to the Kingslayer. He's trying to find any sort of a chance he could get, but he's 1v4, and he hits the floor. Shut down over to Zeus. Really good timing here for T1 to commit to the pick onto Zekka. It's still going to cost you an extra really quick reaction times there. And now no Ash Arrow for the pick for T1. They still have the flash advantage though. Yeah. Dragon's already going to be started. T1 have the aggro, but Kingen is again on the flank. Gumayushi's at two-thirds HP. Drake is going to be secured, but Kingen's coming in. Kari and Zeus go over the wall. Gumayushi is caught, but he goes into the stopwatch only for a moment. Shut down back over to Zekka. Owner's his target. E2 strikes true, and Owner is trapped. Or is he? Now he's finally going to be killed. Double kill back over to Silas. T1 gets one back, but they're still retreating. Zekka, flash in. Zekka looking for the triple. Buys time with Zonius. King gets ready to back him up. Faker goes over the wall. Zeus tries to fight, but the damage pours in. Zekka grabs a third, as they're now going to find Faker here in the bottom lane. King and Death do the work, and that's money in Death's pocket.
and DRX will come. Zeka, this kid is the real deal. You give him these playmakers, he will make magic happen from having a strong lane phase up against the greatest player of all time to being the driving force in that team fight to get them this Baron. No arrow steal, no chance, no shot. It is D on the Silas. Mid lane continuing to be chunked down here by the minions. Kingan getting chased after by Faker. Kingan could be in some trouble. Owner's ready to follow it up. Flash out. Faker gets the kill. And he should be in time for the Dragon Spawn. T1 will get the mid tower though, and they will keep on going. The solo lanes are here to respond. Piosik is lying in wait, waiting for this dragon to spawn, waiting for T1 to move into this bot side river. T1 should know that he's around there with the mist and the wards being down. Chunks on health that would allow them a better setup on dragons. This could be a teleport back from Zekka though. Level 18 on the Silas carrier goes. Oh, oh, flash binding. If they grab Piosik, they guarantee the Drake. Piosik with the flash back over the wall. He has Guardian Angel too. Oh Shane, CC. Piosik goes into the GA. He's just the buying dragon, time. The, dragon. the dragon's over up t1 trying to chase but oh, are they gonna lose out on the drake the dragon is still it? being burned drx are gone oh, it's stolen away by owner and Seca has to flash him the wall to live kingan stuck in the pit tries to jump out pulled right back in by the infernal chains he'll resurrect as well that is two guardian angels wasted on the side of drx carrying out all these wards so they can't get flanked again the flanking power of the camille of the silas has been devastating he's trying to clear all of they're gonna start it up they've got the aggro they're gonna burn through it a little bit but they're taking their time kingan's coming around from the side carrier trying to keep him away death for the piercing oh, arrow Baker. Baker goes in for the flash engage and the dragon's been taken by owner t1 ready for the chase as zeka and barrel run for their lives Zekka's gonna be isolated. Zekka's gonna be caught. Is Zekka going to be killed? He uses stasis to dodge the arrow. He may be able to use the Kingmaker to get away, but no, it's Zekka. Traded for carry on a one for one. Now a TP coming back into the mid lane. T1 with a solid advantage here. Death's gonna look for some poke, finds it on owner. They're so good fast. T1 got it at half HP. Barrel also at half HP. Piosik and Death ready to fight. Chains of Corruption fly out. They're gonna find three different targets. Faker is low. Faker is down. Zeus tries to fight. Owner into the back line. Gonna pick one back up. Death gets Guardian Angel out of Gumiyushi as Piosik is ready to fight. Sword versus gun. And Owner has to run. It's only carry an Owner for 40 seconds. They gotta focus on the minion waves. They can't do it. They don't need to focus the minions if they're gonna be able to focus the enemy team. Carry a drop as Owner is now the target. DRX, a couple minions at their back. They keep going to go. Kingan wants owner, but he ain't gonna find him. The push continues. Inhibitor falls. DRX wanna make it happen. Owner trying to flash in, trying to do it, trying to save it. Let's go. DRX rise to the occasion, and they will tie this series. They lose the soul, but they win the game from King and Aatrox is removed from the equation. Double tank matchup. I worry for T1 with this Graves again because you're playing for range, but if you can punish early, then it will give you profit in the mid to late game. Of course, the champion can do a lot of damage. And he doesn't oh. see the war. Oh, man. Piyoshik walking here, right past it. He's gonna wait here in the brushes. Karia and Guma are staying up. Piyoshik with a flash engage. It doesn't matter if they knew he was coming. They're still gonna grab first blood, but it's a one for one trade. Barrel now trying to get away. Should be fine. The plus, you gotta love having Kalista for these neutral objectives. The extra power of the Rend plus Smite combo to work together and be able to take those down. Death knows that this is uncontested. He doesn't even have to stay there, so they can give that coming one. top. Can DRX make the dive happen? Gragas would be the target, and he's a pretty tanky guy. Yoshi's gonna step forward here, connects with the Spectral Maw. But Death's just going to be able to chase him away. Say is tanky enough to not die here. All they got to do is take down plate number three. The Herald will be able to finish off the last two. Death and Barrel. Get that's it. not quite enough. Nope. It will not die to this. They can't get the tower. The charge. There it goes. Okay. The turret's still standing. Seus, however, is not. And Piyoshik will grab the kill. He was focusing so heavily on trying to deny the turret that he gives up his life. And DRX aren't done. 
Oh, but bottom side, it's T1 also trying to hard force here for this turret. We're still four minutes away from both play. side. No jungler or mid hovering. Kingen has no ultimate either. T1 really want to get this bot tower, but no ultimate on Kumayushi. Might need to take a base soon. Has a lot of gold in his inventory. Overall, slightly even, but T1 favorite because of how long it took for DRX to set up. Will they get the tower? Oh, almost! They get it! And King gets back in the game, and they got the first. So T1 will not be fast stacking towards a soul, but they will. Won't be able to follow it up with the stolen shuffle. Jerry is hanging around nearby, as are Pioshik and Barrel. Faker with the flash away. Ooh. Zekka with the flash follow to throw Faker back into his own team. But now Zekka stands alone. He'll try to get himself away, and Barrel provides covering fire. Zekka with the re-engage back after carry. And Zekka will finally die to the arrow of Gumayushi. Now you gotta look at Zeus, who there's just not enough damage to take him down. It's mid for mid, one for one, but Pioshik is trying to get away behind enemy lines. Another engage comes out here in mid. Gumayushi with the chains of corruption onto Kingen. A flash mid comes out of the arrow, and Gumayushi is punished. The bailout will not save Kingen. It is another one for one. Barrel and Death ready to fight back as Ori gets shunned up. There's the maw. There's the kill. There's the money in Death. Pop. A little bit of small advantages now as DRX looking like Zekka pushing on top side. Two hits, one hit even. We'll finish that tower. Off. Gumiyushi trying to fire out some arrows. Remember with a DPS build, the arrows aren't going to hit nearly as hard as we saw last game. T1 didn't start the dragon, so DRX could just push this midwave in and look to try to herald to force and engage. Ornhorn's ready to go. However, they aren't gonna find what they're looking for. Kingen tries to get away now. The bailout won't save him. T1 are just ready to respawn and outplay. Barrel continues retreating. He's under a lot of threat. The Berserk down on the unkillable demon oh, camp, yeah. and he dies here today. Zekka looking to keep the charge going, and DRX. 4v5 have already found two. Zayas looks like a pin cushion as Death may have overreached. He barely oh. alive. Contesting, they're not in any shape to do it. It's only second Drake of the game for T1. Or is it? DRX is walking up now, seeing if there's anything to find. Orn ulti's ready to go again. They knock Zayus up into the air, but you can't just commit onto the tank. They're too late. Yoshik has his ulti ready to go again. That ult from Zayus isn't oh, gonna go go over the wall. Oh my Barrel, God. the hero, but Faker, the god, survives the engage. Here's a look at how it all started, though. On to Guma, and then it was the pick on the front line. Owner? Oh, Owner trying to do something here, but he ain't gonna find it. Aaron? 30 seconds until the T1 jungler respawns. Mid lane tier one gonna die now. More of an advantage to the team with the extra range here, with Faker and Guma especially. But it's all about the timing of the engage for DRX. Barrel, Barrel did not time that right. They flash from the last time around. DRX keep trying to throw spells at T1 to try to force a fight, but T1 aren't getting sucked into it. An Ornold comes out, they back away. A hostile take around, Pio6 taking a base. We'll see if Zekka tries to cross map the tower. Tier 1 turret and top side ain't long for this world. Owner and Faker will work together to take that down. They're gonna build T1 back up to a very, very modest gold lead. But Zekka's about to get one back just as And he has TP, so if T1 stay around for too long, once this tower dies, Zekka can TP in and they can look for the 5v5. Here he comes! All right, TP ready to go for DRX. Piyoshi had to ult defensively. There's the shuffle getting DRX away. They're getting juggled around a lot, but Faker's alone. Piyoshi finds him. Faker is down, and Zekka gets the kill. T1 need to find a response soon, 15 seconds on Faker. D1, T1, ready to go. Trying to see if there's an angle. DRX are in the pit, but this is so risky. Owens ready to try to fight, ready to try to steal. Barrel at 200 HP, Baron at 4,000. Zekka, oh ready to use the stolen ulti. He throws Owner away. The Baron oh is stolen by Owner in a hero moment. The shutdown of the ocean. And T1, get it done. Hot pursuit as Barrel will die to Faker. As the entire world holds their breath, watching Owner steals the Baron away from the Rend Smite combination. He does it again. He stole the dragon. He steals the Baron. Owner Smites are sick. DRX though, King, and might be in trouble. Zayus looking for Masekis on the way. 
Nicely done from Caria and from Zeyu. Oh. Death is just going to give him another as DRX crumble around the smite steel. T1 are running away with it now. That's four kills despite losing Faker at the start and DRX forcing that Baron. Owner is showing up in this series with the smites against Kalista and the smites from Piosik. They didn't time it properly and he sneaks his way in despite Zeka trying his best to keep him out. Oh my goodness. All right, Piosik fishing around. They want to make something? They might just find it. Piosik. Legacy for players like Owner and Zeus. Kerry and Gumayushi so young with such a long career ahead of them. This could be the first step. In but DRX is ready to go. Kingen with the ulti. They're going to look for Gumayushi, but they're going to find Zeus. Half HP here on the Gragas. They fall back to the ruins of the tier two. T1 confident to hold their lines. DRX is engaged. Fails. They will protect their tier three turret, but just barely. And another wave is on the way. Yeah, Baron buff wave coming in. Summoners blown from Gumayushi, but no ultimates left. Zeka needs to take a Greg Assault or something along those lines if they want to fight this. Giving it up is not the end of the world either. Takes the Varasult. Does he decide to throw it out, or does he hold on to it till the next couple waves come in on mid lane? Bot in it falls. They find Zeus there with the chains. Locking him up with the Everfrost now, too, but they got to be oh, careful. The next objective for T1 is this tier 2. Piosik getting caught on the recall. Oh, Piosik. I don't think this is where you should be, buddy. Zeus on the chase. Nope. Piosik still trying to get away. Juggled back by the Braga Colti. And it should be nothing but the cleanup here. Faker gets the kill. 5v4 for 40 seconds for T1. T1 will break open this top inhibitor, you have to imagine. DRX could use the Ornal to try to clear out the wave because there's no more Baron buff. And this tier two will fall. How much will they press the advantage? So with that three standoff here in mid right now. Owner gonna join up. Baker gonna join up. Everybody's here except Zeka. He just now hits level 16. Barrel is zoned away from the rest of the team, but he might be able to find a takeover angle. Owner again, looking for that Renata, looking for the opportunity to blow him up. A TP's coming in, but it's coming in pretty late. Bye -bye. They try to go in, but it's going to be the objective bounty for the side of DRX. They go for Zeus. They're going to find a ton of damage. Owner's focused down. Oh, and he goes work. golden, but he ain't going to live long. Piosic! Let's do it. Zeus is going to have to disrupt a lot here. Carry a look at his own barrel away. Depp pulls him right back to Faker. safety. Kingen is ready to go for Faker, and they find him. Deft again will kill Faker with the Baron, but Zeka dies to the Baron auto. T1 is fighting back. The Baron still at 3,000 HP. Just fight. Deft looking to go. No! no way in the world. Deft dies now with the Baron. Oh, he's doing well. Empowered Varus snipe. It's over. I think T1 can look to end. What? 30 seconds on Deft. Waves coming in. Botted him down. They're pushing. One Nexus Tower left. This game will be defined by two. Baron steals. Kingen tries to get him as much time as they can. Nice hostile takeover on the three, but it will not be enough. Barrel is knocked back. Kingen trying to frontline this, but T1 knows what they got to go for. They're looking for the Nexus. They'll take it down, and T1 are on match point. Piosik, there's the Fiora last pick yeah, as we expected. Uh, Triple melee topside. We haven't seen Maokai for yeah, a long time. We yeah, saw him oh. playing, so we saw it a little bit in groups, and then he just fell off. Sprouts his head up here again in the finals in a must this bot side. The problem is Kingen is very diveable right now. He's picking yeah. assistance. Piosik now running back towards top as quickly as he can because if owner peeks his head up there, Beryl. Ooh, Beryl goes in aggressively, but the flash isn't going to get him a lot. Now he and Deft have to back away. Ooh. Gumiyushi goes for the pierce. Carry able to flash forward now too. Beryl's at 200 HP. Beryl tries to get away. Deft is at 100. Carry as low. Deft is going to block the bailout. Will he get the damage? No, it's first blood over the carry. This dragon is free. And there it is, exactly as you say. Owner making his way over to that one. Q3 from Kingen. Zeus in trouble, but still manages to walk it back underneath his own turret. Uh-oh. Piosik ready to stop this recall here. Ghost and Teleport both available for Zeus. If he can get back, Piosik will not kill him 1v1. They do need extra damage. Faker making his way up to top as the dragon goes down for T1. That was a critical heal. Zeus got the fleet footwork heal off of tapping Piosik, so able to sustain under his tower, and now the bottom side with Owner. Owner's ready to go. Deft is the target. They're ready to try to fight back, but DRX are 2v3. Kumayushi oh. will not fall, and DRX 
wants to keep these guys nearby. The Maokai ult, he's not gonna find anybody just yet. Zeus continues running. The little sapling, yes, he's enchanted by the brush, but he can't catch up in time. So T1, they get what they came for and they get back out. Now Zeus, ready to issue a fight on the King and here with a grand challenge. Pioshik's showing up to try to help them. They're gonna try to turn it around right back onto Owner. He's low, but Gary is here to make the difference. However, DRX will outplay. Kingan still looking to keep the fight going a little bit further, but he's going to be careful. He'll look for Karia. Q2 lands. Where's Q3? Flash coming out from Karia to stay alive. Kingan is playing this fight. Zeus who picked it up, so it's not like Owner can walk this thing around anywhere on the map. As Barrel goes into the hostile takeover, oh. it hits both as Gumiyushi could now be in some trouble. Death trying to fire in a little bit more damage as the 2v1 dive goes out top. Zeus barely staying alive, but there's the kill. Down before it crashes. That's a lot of gold that can be denied. Yeah. T1 starting the dragon all the meanwhile. It's a 4v4. Really nicely done from Kingan, but now what about the team fight here in the bottom lane? They're going in. They found a lot of damage, but they won't find the kill oh. just yet. Now Gumiyushi's going to be popped, and Barrel is not traded back. Zekka taking some damage. Faker trying to go in and find his way through the smoke. Now he's going to run. He's trying to get out, but Twisted Advance will find him, and DRX will win across the rim. They're doing it! The perennial underdogs, DR. At this level 11, Odors in the pits, T1 bot lane. Now all the way up, DR is on a timer to take this fight. T1's ready to challenge. Faker is here, objective at 2K. Faker's going in, smoke is ready. Zekka getting himself back. Owner's taking low, they're ready to keep the fight going. Kingan charges forward, but now Zeus is looking for Pioshek. The killing spree for the jungler of DRX. Where's the follow-up? T1 trying to stay together. Hostile takeover finds Faker. T1 are corralled in the back of the pit, and it's DRX executing. In a freaking 4v5, yo! They've got Deft on the bottom side taking care of the turret as well. The only king in that fight was King, and he did so much work to get T1 down. Zeus and Owner couldn't take the fight. Tower over to DRX. Harold over to DRX, mid tower will fall, top tower is gonna fall as well. They just broke the entire map open from one fight. Even just being here in finals, DRX are already the greatest. Their second Drake of the game. A mountain Drake at that will be the soul if they can continue this. And I'll away from Faker here, bottom side. Faker trying to chase after him here. Uses R1, TP. finds the E, but now a TP is coming in. Now the ulti's coming over from Maokai. Now DRX have found Faker. The smoke will not save him for T1. Gumiyushi running away there, throwing the spear out, getting himself a safe distance away from Barrel. Bottom lane tier two. Started up. The sapling will spot out the jungler of T1. He has no vision to work with. Karius trying his best to help out. No Kalista, it's a smite fight. It's time to overcome the demons of game three for DRX. Maokai ulti flies out. Kingan in World Ender goes over the wall. Faker's lost half HP. Faker is nearly down. Hostile takeover over the wall. Wish from Soraka will heal the oh. mid laner. But Maokai says no. DRX ready to fight back again as Zeus is going to be shuffled away. T1 tries to find the fight and they're finally going to kill Death. But Kingan still ready to fight over the side. Zekka getting chased. Barrel trying to protect. A beautiful handshake from Renata as Karia falls. T1, 2v3, Barrel may be the target, but Gumayushi is locked down. Gumayushi is executed by the sword of Kingen. Towards Barrel, chasing them through, but Kingen from behind catches everything. Pioshik with the flash over the wall into the tri brush, locks him up. And it's that twisted advance, it's that lockdown on these mobile carries that we talked about in draft that is why this be up, so I feel like DRX need to make a Baron call soon, and they're gonna do it. They haven't pushed in mid wave, but Zeus will have to TP it. It's time to go. Objective bounty claimed, and now Zeus is ready to join the fight. Baron at half HP. Owner's trying to find his way in there. The Arctic assaults over the wall. He has no flash. There is no blast call. Kingen will jump over the wall here and start to zone him away. But it could only be Owner that they need. He flash. did a miracle last time. Kingen wants to stop him this time. Baron at 3K. Owner goes berserk. He's locked down. The Baron for DRX. They did it. They
so many numbers down here to try to find something before the waves start to crash onto their towers. Zeus will get an objective bounty top tier one, but the rest of the RX pushed up into the tier three turret. They've already taken half HP. T1 have now finally found their positioning again, but it may already be too late. The cannon minion's still alive. The cannon minion's still firing. The cannon minion kills the tier three turret. Zeus, in the meantime, is still top. He's taken out the tier two. DRX, they're going for broke. They're going for anything they can find. The second Check inhibitor out. turret's gonna be the target. Faker is now the target. They're trying to push all the way in. Owner's on full retreat. Zeus finally making his recall back into the base. DRX, five-man push. Still looking for Nexus turrets. Gumayushi's gonna be caught. Kingan looks for him, but the Galista's able to get away. Zeus wants to jump in. Zekka's still safe. DRX now Faker. having to deal with Faker. He jumps in. He jumps out. There's no angle. DRX, they'll find the first Nexus turret. Owner charges away. DRX have health advantage. They have stats advantage. They have gold advantage. The turrets are dropping. Zeus is on the flank, but it won't do a thing. Kingan's wings spread wide, and DRX looks to keep going. The relentless pressure here. They've still got two cannon minions. Zekka chasing off Zeus, and Barrel comes to join. Zeus is low. He's trying to get himself away. The turret's still barely standing. Carrya now going to be your target. Kingan chasing him away. Gumayushi goes in. It won't matter. They're done. That's it. DRX are taking us to game five. One game to decide. To start the fight outside Hecarim. of corruption. Hecarim for Pioshin. Both these teams have thrown everything out of the window. They've come in with different strategies. A little bit of comfort as well. Pocket picks. Poking up. the Varus on the tower. The Karma is the, the, the factor that allows T1 to push back against the cage. And Zekka needs to react to this Flash W from Owner. He needs to react to it, otherwise he's going to die. Owner does not give him the time. Zekka flashes late. And T1... Like you just highlighted there, Kobe, the pushing lanes are so powerful in letting you use neutral objectives, and T1 are aware of it. Shut down the Hecarim early. Piosik needs to farm to six before he can impact the map, so T1 can start getting these early game advantages. Top crap spawning soon. Owner might path his way up there. Herald's in two minutes. Piosik needs to get to six before that spawns. Looking for some Raptors, though. Trying to steal him away a little bit. Walks on up. Pop Spirit of Dread. Gets himself right back out. And now top side, the fights continue. Zeus versus Kingan. Zeus with the ulti, finds a lot of needlework. There into Kingan, who's not able to continue the trade after already using the cooldowns. And Owner will again look for Zekka in mid. He will chase him away as Faker absorbs this wave. Meanwhile, back in top, Q3 hits the mark. Infernal chain, Ooh. solo kill for Kingan. On vision, and again, T1 have made the call. They leave Guma pushing those plates on bottom. But they can't finish the Herald. They know T1's ready to contest. Yep. Faker's coming up now too. Pioshik, defensive ulti over the wall. Kingan with a world ender. He's stuck inside the gravity well, but he goes forward. Faker dies. Zekka gets it. The shuffle to get the rest of them away. Carry has made his way up. Force 5v4, and then just have Kingan tell back to his top turret. Well, the dragon's low. Owner's coming in. Is this going to be another steal? Barrel will block it with the CC. And moving in. No flash on Faker. Piosik has the ult. has the shuffle. He's not going to get the angle just yet. Piosik looking for it. There's your engage. Knocks him back out of the gravity well. Knocks him into the shuffle. Knocks him to his doom. And Zekka gets the kill. But now he's got to run. Remember, there's no ulti for Owner, but he's still going to grab the kill. One for one on mid laners as Zeus wants to run down Piosik. Owner's ready to go. Stolen his ear body. Means two for T1. They're not out yet. Owner now going to ult over the back of the Raptors to escape. Here Kingan. comes Kingan. Kingan's ready to go. Zeus is trying to retreat. Q1, Infernal Chains. Q2, but Q3 ain't gonna hit. Zeus Setting themselves up to retake some vision. Now working with Caria on that support roam timer. Meanwhile, Pioshek wants to look top. Zeus has no ghost. Zeus also now without the W. Gwen is not immune. Pioshek with a devastating charge, bringing him right back into the range of Kingan. And Pioshek gets the kill. Great. Another hit. Gumiushi and Karia, without having to deal with turret plates anymore, should be able to find the first turret of the game right here. Yes, they will. It's Gumiushi getting the credit. They've been so powerful. Channeling this recall here. Looks like they, ooh, not gonna go for it. Teleport comes out here from Zekka, though. Guma also has a teleport to be able to join up. 
DRX have started the Herald, but T1's ready to fight for it. They're gonna bring Faker in with a TP now too. Caitlyn Trap hits Zeus. He's gonna lose a little bit of HP, but a lot of patience being lost in the Herald now. Down to 1600, down Reset. to 1100, it resets. And now what about the fight? Piyoshi could have HP. DRX still grouped up. T1 still trying to contest for this. Harold at 7,000. Kingan back into the pit. He stands alone from the rest of DRX now. He'll continue holding Harold aggro. This could be the decider of the championship. Kingan off the side. Piosic getting chunked out. T1 get the Herald. Dragon's coming up pretty quickly here in 16 seconds. DRX going to retreat through mid lane. Oh, Zach is gonna put some damage on him. Kingan stay on the flank. He's gonna look for it, but a flash out from Faker keeps him safe. World Ender is a very important cooldown on a very fed Ritz here too as well. DRX have to use a lot of time to get this dragon down. Kingan's moving up, should be in time to cover it, but look at Faker, he's trying to back up the top jungle off T1. Trying to look for that second tower will be a huge gold injection into Zeus if they can get it. Kingan needs to be very careful here. Faker is still around. Karia's showing mid. Def. Backing up his top laner, Zeus goes forwards. Zeus trying to look for Kingan here, but Zeus losing a lot of HP. Still has the big shot of Needlework, throws it out now. Kingan's gonna keep chasing him off. E1 will lose that critical summoner no spell flash. on their AD carry, but Faker's now the target. Devastating charge, onslaught of shadows, but not enough damage. Zeka has to get away, his owner's ready to follow up. Yoshik is too far forward, and Faker takes him out. Now owner's got the charge to chase Zeka. He's gonna look for it. Barrel's ready to try to protect, and he gets Wait. him away. This is your last game. It's all decided here. TP coming in from Faker. T1 want to pressure down this mid tower. DRX not a lot of wave clear to respond. Barrel's getting locked down, but he gets away. Lots more damage pouring in, but not enough to kill him just yep. yet. PO ships coming around from the side. Kingan's on the flank now too. Oh. They're waiting on the TP to come in. Gomayushi's gonna be targeted. He tries to get away, but he's gonna die out first. Zeka's trying to get away. They're finding more damage. His owner's about to fall out of Yoshik now. Zeus wants to fight against Kingan. The ball keeps him alive. And DRX is winning the fight. Oh, oh, no, no, no. was still ready. Faker dies. Zeka goes in. And Karia will die too. Circle T1 like sharks. Herding them in. T1 didn't find a response. Guma, can he steal it? Guma will no have way. to fire a hell of a a chance in this game again. T1 have more than a chance. They have a push here in the bottom lane. Everybody's ready to go. Zeka staying on the tier two in the top side. T1 have already broken the tier three. They are looking for the inhibitor and they will already take it. Dragon's up. T1 want to move towards it. They got the inhib. Tier two top fell as well. Faker has flash. He has the flash. Yoshik's trying to get it from him. Nice ulti coming out from Barrel, but Kingan is here in a 1v4. Kingan is about to die. He will drop. T1 has taken out the fed player. Barrel gets away over the wall. And DRX are collapsing. T1 are running this game now. The push in mid comes through, but Zeka's here to respond. Dragon is in the up. aftermath. That will haunt. Piyoshik forever. They need to stay composed now, DRX. Piyoshik activated the devastating charge, but meanwhile the T2, here in the top side, will fall to T1. Zeka will respond with the bot tower, but a lot more gold into T1's back pocket. The cross map's okay. DRX will be in time to wave clear. Next Baron's up in. Right now, Faker. No flash. If they can catch him, they can Zeus. follow it up with a trap. Zeus with the ghost instantly, though, for the move speed to run. Yep, he can get out from it. Kim Tech Putrefire, Kim Tech Tank, I should say, was not used. Seiyu's still looking to maybe come back and fight this. Has the needlework ready. Piyoshik goes on a magical journey. T1 now. Faker's very low. Kingan's fighting 1v2. He gets himself away. It's a defensive ulti from owner. T1 back. and DRX leaving it all on the rift here today. T1 about to take out their seventh turret. DRX have bounced back. We're going to be caught out. Mist from Viego will allow him to step a little bit further forward. Inhib respawns at a pretty critical timer here for the Barrel. side of DRX. But Barrel is no. about to die. Zeus gets his way into the pit. Piyoshik is still behind them. Owner takes a chunk. Drake at about 5,000. Zeus going to move into the pit. He's ready for that angle now. Karia, Owner, both chunked a little bit. Zeka and the rest of DRX are not damaging the Drake any further. They're going to allow it to reset. Kingan to reflect. Kingan fights Karia right when they need it most. But now he takes some damage back. 
He has to walk it off. The Drake's at 4K. A little bit of damage over the wall. Barrel's trying to block Kuma. it. Dragon is secured. Kumayoshi is down. And T1 are trying to fight back. Biosic's under fire. He will drop. It is a two for three for two in the Current fight. continues around vision around this wave in mid. DRX really need this tower if they want to start controlling the map. T1 have been holding on. And as they dance, again, Guma has no flash. He dodged oh. away from the Bard ultimate this time. But T DRX still pushing. They get what they came for. That Bard ultimate, it was just to create space for a couple of seconds. Seyus running away from Kingen. Seyus has level advantage here. Kingen doesn't find sweet spot on the Q3, but he's got backup. Seyus is going to be caught. DRX moving in for the T1 top lane, and they got him. 5v1. Kingen's got T1 have the mid push. They're going all for it. Here all the go. cards are on the table. Flank, flank, flank. They're wrapping around. Yep. Keep your eyes on PO shaking on barrel. DRX, they don't even have their jungler in the pit. They are not going to commit to the Baron. They are looking for some sort of a play. Barrel is burning, but they're ready. They're turning. PO Shik has Faker. Carry a Barrel. Lives. He's trying to run away, but Sekka and Pioshik are still chasing the him one. down. A bullet to the head, and death pulled the trigger. Pioshik and Sekka working on the Drake. 5,000 HP left. Death wants to get away. A lot of threat coming out from the needle work. King is very low. He goes into the stasis. He's still going to live, but only for a moment. King in down. Soul for DRX, but it'll be Baron for T1. They're going to force on it and try and make DRX come to them. 5v4 advantage. They're it. burning it down. Owner has smite. Pioshik does not. No Kingen. No Kingen. This has to be a no-go for DRX. They will back away. Won't. They need to be really careful if they overstep. Kingen can TP behind them. Zeus will be ready and waiting for Pioshik. Pioshik's going to have to hold out of this one. You would think no. Kumiyoshi gets the kill. Might be caught here, Kingen. Zeus does not have an ulti. They used it for the pick. Now he's going to try to run from Kingen, who keeps the chase going. Q2 finds him. Q3's not going to get nothing more than a chicken. DRX still trying to hold on. Death backing away. Zekka backing away. T1 looking for the inhib. You would think they should be able to find this one no problem. His way around. This Aatrox, a pest in the T1 side. They're DRX. going through mid, though. Yeah, they're going through mid here, T1. DRX are pinging this top wave. There's a threat of an end. Kingen's on the flank. Kingen's looking for it. He has been the X Factor. The Barrel's gonna die. He barely gets away. Pioshik's in the retreat. Barrel stays alive somehow. Redemption's coming down. It's gonna heal him up. T1 moved in. Kingen was not able to respond there with the flank. He'll steal the enemy red buff for the upcoming fight. T1 chunking out the health bars. Decide to go for the Elder. Kingen's still ready. TP coming back in for DRX. Seyus an owner here in the pit. Seyus goes over the wall, but Kingen's ready to find him. Q1, Q2 finds his place back inside the pit. Drake gonna slightly reset. Gonna come down to a smite fight. King and Adult is off. Barrel has the ultimate back up. No carries on the flashes. Look at the trap line. Look at the Caitlyn. He's trying to send him away. Owner going owner. in. Owner is down. Out. The Drake secured. T1 jungle. Oh T1 going to the base. They're going for the next test. Can they do it in time? Kingen comes back. Elder Drake in the ready. But what can he do? Q3. No damage just yet. Elder Drake. The end secure. Zayus is down. DRX. Hold on. Kingen. He gets back. He does it. Gumi is just going to find the ultimate onto Bioshik. But they still have the Elder Dragon buff on DRX. They're going to run straight back into the hearts of T1. Can they end? This is it. T1 are so vulnerable and wounded. DRX have the Elder Dragon. Four members down. It's on Guma Yushi to hold the line. DRX are coming for their World Championship title. The Cinderella story. DRX are pushing in. DRX, they're on to inhibitor turret number one. Only Carrier is going to be up. It's still 10 seconds on owner. DRX will march forward. Carrier wants to hit the wave. Kingen goes to the Worldender. Kumayushi is dead. They have been doubted. They have been discounted. They have been dismissed. But DRX are your 2022 World Champions. The mentality of diamonds, untiltable, unassailable, DRX world champions.